Good morning, everybody. Today we are going to be looking at Psalm 96. And a big theme of this psalm is worship, which is actually something that I'm super passionate about. So I'm really excited to be talking about this with you guys today. So Psalm 96 says, Sing a new song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to Yahweh, praise his name, proclaim his salvation from day to day. Proclaim his glory among the nations, his wonderful works among all peoples. For the Lord is great and is highly praised. He is feared above all gods, for all the gods of the peoples are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Splendor and majesty are before him, strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, you families of the peoples, ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to Yahweh the glory of his name, bring an offering and enter his courts. Worship the Lord in the splendor of his holiness, tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nation, the Lord reigns, the world is firmly established, it cannot be shaken. He judges the peoples fairly. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and all that fills it resound. Let the fields and everything in them exalt. Then all the trees of the forest will shout for joy before the Lord, for he is coming. For he is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with his faithfulness. So after reading this, what comes to your mind when you hear the word worship? Because I know for me, for a long time, when I heard the word worship, I always thought of music on a Sunday morning and the songs we sang on a Sunday morning in worship service, but that was until I went to camp a few years ago. And at this camp, somebody told me something that has stuck with me for years, and it just really stood out when they told me this. They told me that worship is not just about the songs that we sing, but the way we choose to live our lives every single day. And that really, like I said, it stuck with me for a long time because this means that worship can be reading our Bible, of course, spending time in prayer. It can be showing the love of God to a stranger, but it can even be just taking the time out of our day on a hectic Thursday to spend some time with God. These are all forms of worship. So in this Psalm, verse two really stuck out to me. Verse two said, Sing to Yahweh, praise his name, proclaim his salvation from day to day. The word praise means, by definition, to express your love. So yes, praise is a proclamation that we make, but it's not just a one-time thing. It's a proclamation that we make every day, sharing of God's salvation. God sent his son for the sole purpose of dying on the cross for me and you. When Jesus was nailed to the cross, he thought of you by name. This is good news. This is something that we want to share with the world because there truly is no greater love than this. This isn't something that we want to hide. And the way that we can do this is by worshiping God, ascribing to him, showing him our praise and our gratefulness for what he's done in our lives. I think that this psalm really encompasses the greatness and honestly just the vast power of the Lord. I mean, the title of this psalm in my Bible, it says, King of the Earth. Imagine what you have to do to get that title. I mean, the whole earth. God created the heavens and the earth. He created this world that we call home. And I feel that the world often doesn't give him enough credit for all that he's done for us. And so if he can do all of that, he is so much greater than you and I and literally anything in existence. And for that, he deserves every ounce of our praise and worship. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for just everything you've done for us. You sent your son to die for people who may not have even loved him in return. And we thank you for everything that you do. We thank you for creating this world. You are the king of the earth. That's a magnificent title. You have so much power. And I pray that we show you our love in return for your power and your graciousness. And we praise and worship you, Jesus. Help us to remember that worship isn't just about singing, but it can be about the little things that we do. It can be about simply spending our time with you. And I pray that 
we all remember that as we go throughout this week that we don't have to have the best voices to worship you. We can worship you every day in our lives. Please be with everybody this week. Um, with the craziness of the world, just as the year is ending, help us to keep you as our top priority in everything that we do. In your name we pray. Amen. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and a happy new year. Bye.